All right, so in this video, I'll be showing three different examples of how the pick and roll system, the pick and roll functionality in this game is hardwired uh, to not work most of the time. It's hardwired to not work out for you correctly, right? And how uh, a lot of times it's already a scripted outcome. It's already uh, predetermined that it's not going to work out for you. Sometimes it works, but most times it, it probably wouldn't. All right. I'll even argue that sometimes that it does work, that, you know, you kind of have to make it work. Right. It, they, they still position things and make things flow in such a way that uh, it's going to it's going to harm, you know, your ability to really use the pick and roll correctly. So right here, uh, this is kind of a closer pick and roll. But I just want to show this example first. Um, this guy right here. Now, if you look at him where he is, he's in a perfect position, right? There is nobody in front of him, on the side of him or anything. There's nothing in between him and the court. And he's right here, right? He's right here in front of the court. He got a, just two or three steps and he got a layup, if even that, right? He's right there in front of the court. And what happens is this right here. When I decide to pass the ball... They're going to force him to uh, make a, a a different route, right? They're going to force him to run outside of the paint instead. So right here, you see what he's doing. Let's take it back from, from this angle. Now, you just seen, you know, where he was with the pick and roll, where he was at initially. Look what he does when the pass is coming, right? Instead, he runs in, in, outside of the paint in such a way where he could have damn near got a, or I could have damn near got a turnover, right? So instead of going, you know, right here to what's in front of him, once again, there's nothing between him and the, and the basket, right? But the algorithm understands I have this easy opportunity to score. So they force him to run outside of the basket instead of just running directly at the rim, right? Once I pass the ball to him. This is all a, a, a contrived situation, all right? This is forced by the algorithm to happen this way. And really, I probably was supposed to have gotten a turnover, all right? That's example one. All right, now here's example number two, right? So right here, I'm getting ready to hold the screen. You know, it, it kind of was kind of botched to begin with, but even that's irrelevant to what's actually about to occur, Right? So my man's right here is getting ready to cut to the basket. Pay attention to this guy right here on defense. Now, he's supposed to be guarding me one-on-one, -on -one, right? And typically what happens is the guy, you know, that's in the back would drop back and cut off the pick. But he didn't do his job. They switched off on me. And pay attention to his feet mainly, right? And look at how he's allowed to get into position to cut off the drive to the basket. Now, look at this. Do you see that, right? First of all, from where he's standing all the way over, he's sliding into position, right? And then, boom, he kind of warped, you know, he warps right into the spot that he needs to be in. Like it was an automatic placement for him to get there so that uh, the pick and roll wouldn't be successful, right? It's like he was just slapped into position. Like he was, you know, like he magnetized into position. He just, he just levitated over there. Right. And then not only that, but when you look at my man's right here, the algorithm had already forced him, you know, uh, in the other direction. It forced him on the outside, just like in the last uh, example, the guy, he was forced on the outside of the paint. So he's forced on the outside of the basket. Right. Because you could get the you could get the alley hoop or whatever, the bounce pass. If you're on the inside, even if computer is going to cut it off. You could just throw the alley up if they're going to cut off the direct pass. All right. So they force him on the outside. All right. Now, that's uh, that would be example number two. Now, example number three. Uh, this was actually directly after the last one. So I should have just kind of kept it going. But this is directly after the last one. Now, watch this. So. As you can see, it's a pick and roll. Now, watch what happens when I try to pass it to him. Look at my man's feet. Look at his feet. Always pay attention to the feet a lot of times because it tells you exactly what the algorithm is forcing and what the narrative is. So check it out. Look at his feet. 
when I pass the ball, do you see what he just did? You see, once again, when I pass the ball, look at what he just did. Do you see that? How he's forced to let once again levitate all the way outside of the paint. You know, he levitates completely out of position. And then once he gets farther enough away, he takes an extra two or three steps to get outside of the paint instead of just continuing on his regular route. See, this is another example. There's nothing in between him and the court, right? But he's forced, the algorithm is forcing him into moving away from the, the easy uh, bucket. The easy basket is right in front of him, all right? Once again, these are forced outcomes. These are predetermined outcomes. The algorithm is putting this together. They have situated, they've uh, rewired the pick and roll in such a way where it doesn't work for you a lot of times. So they even have a, a, a script with the pick and roll system where they decide for you when your man is going to run the correct route and, you know, get the bucket and when he's going to do some other odd goofball shit. All right. And even a lot of times um, the defense will just be so, uh, you know, on some X-Men Marvel type shit where they just, slipping and sliding, you know, and levitating into position, right? But they do this right here for when you break on the defense, that's their response to, you know, uh, still putting the defense into the correct position or, or you know, still preventing you from getting the bucket when, when the defense is bad, when the defense is not there. This is their answer for a computer's lack on defense. See, they're always compensating for the CPU, that's basically what you're looking at a lot of times with the game and the various tactics that it's using to cheat the user. It's a, it's a compensation for what the computer is lacking. The computer cannot, when the computer cannot keep up, when they can't stop you, they'll go over the top there. They have other answers, other workarounds to still prevent you from doing whatever it is you need to do. All right. And in this game right here, we were up on this team by a dub at one point. All right. But in the last three minutes, they've been allowed to close it in into a single-digit lead. I think it's like six or seven points, right? All because what? Uh, I guess it was a, supposed to have been a predetermined loss, all right? So all of a sudden, we can't get anything to drop. Every pick and roll we run back-to-back -back is a fail. All the wide-open buckets is a fail. And computer, uh, man, I should have saw a clip of that shit back-to-back. Where computer is just constantly, they're just drilling, hammering the paint. And no matter who's down there, what kind of defense it is, they're just scoring every time, right? Because it's a predetermined outcome. It's, a, it's, a, it's supposed to have been a scripted loss. We were predetermined to lose this game. We were up by a dub. Out of desperation, they started to bring them back into the lead. They started to force them, to thrust them back into the game. All right, so we're down to what, like two or three minutes, maybe less than that. Uh, we're still going to win it, but it's just odd to me. You know, I find it quite funny. Uh, I mentioned it before in previous videos how it seems that in 2K22, computer is allowed to go on these fantastical runs that they were not really allowed to do like that in 21. They're going runs in every 2K. Don't get it twisted. Every 2K cheats like that. 2K22, the computer... It, it's just it's just a bit more cheating. It's a bit more cheating, right? At first, I said it, it seemed to not be as scripted. It is, but it's just scripted somewhat in a different way, all right? They seem to have kind of uh, relaxed on controlling the user, all right? Uh, so, you know, you move around the court a bit more fluently, but when they want the defense to trap you, the defense is just sliding and maneuvering all, all across the court, you're driving when you got the open drive, you know, when you got an easy layup coming, they force you to lean into the defense so the defense can get back into position on you. They do things like that a lot in this game. And they send computer on these fantastical runs where they drop, they score six or seven times in a row and you can't get anything to fall, right? But that is just about do it for this one piece.